nutrition. I'm with Marie Spano. She is a sports dietitian, registered dietitian on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about um, nutrition and athletes, exercisers, and specifically I wanted to talk to her about protein. Mm -hmm. So let's chat about protein a little bit. Okay. What is um, one of the biggest misconceptions that people have in regard to protein? Oh gosh, there's so many. One of the biggest ones is I'll have kids that need to gain weight so they load up on protein all the time and that gets them really full because protein is very satiating and then they don't consume enough total calories. So to gain weight, you need protein, but you need total calories, more right. calories. So it's, it's really the calories that count. Mm -hmm. So as far as the needs mm -hmm. of um, somebody for protein, so let's say, you know, somebody weighs 200 pounds, what's, what's a typical recommendation a sports dietitian would be giving? Typically 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram body weight depending on their activity. Right. Um, as far as sources of protein, there's lots of different proteins. Um, there's whey, casein, soy, egg protein. Talk to me a little bit about um, the differences in the protein. Well, th you have to look at the amino acid content of protein and in general, animal-based sources of protein, including those dairy proteins, whey and casein, tend to be preferable for muscle tissue because of their amino acid composition. Okay. But when it comes to vegetarian sources, soy is excellent. Yes, it is. As far as a different type of protein then, it's any of them really outshine the others? It's tough to say. Each has its own individual benefits. Okay. So it's tough to say that one is superior to another one. And I always take a person's pref preference into account. Yeah. And as far as how much protein mm -hmm. that the body can use at one time, I mean, yeah. I've seen some where they're taking like 40 to 50 grams at one time. That's what tough. do you think about that? That's tough to say. Um, we don't exactly know how much per time, but generally after resistance training, 25 to 30 grams of quality protein. Okay. Now, if they have something like a vegetarian-based pea protein or something, they're going to need more. They may need, you know, up to 40 or 50 grams. We don't know yet. We don't know the answer to, to okay. that question. But if it's, uh, if it's whey protein, let's use, use that mm -hmm. as an example, what would be a, just a good um, general guideline for people? Generally, after exercise, about 25 to 30 grams. 25 to 30 grams, excellent, good. Mm -hmm. Great information, Marie, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. Again, Marie Spano, she's a sports dietitian on the East Coast. Great talking to you. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition, and we'll see you in the next video.